Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. In today's video, I'm going to address Sleeping Warriors Tower of Density. As always, before we get started, a big thank you to my Patreons for their continuous support. Okay everybody, today we're going to paint like Bob Ross. We're going to start off with my famous uh, density tower. Hang on a second. What did you just say? My famous, uh, density tower. Your famous density tower? Baloney! And what do you mean by this, you may ask? Well, let me show you. Do you recognize this? I found your density tower in a YouTube channel called Six Science. Do you doubt me? There you go, side by side, exactly the same image. You still don't believe me? All right, here is the video of the actual six science guys creating the density tower. Of course, I've sped up the video, but if you want to see it in its entirety and it's in normal speed, I'll leave a link in the description. And there you go, Sleeping Warrior's famous density tower is not his. So let's hear it one more time. Sleeping Warrior claiming someone else's work as his. My famous uh, density tower. Not a good start there, Sleeping Warrior. Not a good start. Let's continue. And for this illustration, we're going to think that we are the uh, cherry tomato in the middle. So we are the cherry tomato in the middle. Why did you see it twice? Do you have to convince yourself you're the cherry tomato? Let's remove all the labels so that we don't have any of the labels and we're going to give these numbers later. So let's add some artifacts. Now that we've got rid of all of the numbers... Oh, sleeping warrior, can't you go more than 10 seconds without making a mistake? Which mistake, you ask? Okay, I'll play it back. Pay attention. Let's remove all the labels. So we've got any labels, we're going to give these numbers later. So let's add some artifacts. Now that we've got rid of all of the numbers... See what I mean? First he says, let's get rid of all the labels. And then he says, now that you've got rid of all of the numbers, do you actually know the difference between labels and numbers? Let's gonna add some pet elements to the picture. We'll start with some ground. This is the ground and the cherry tomato is now on the ground. And we need to give these values some numbers to the- We need to give these values some numbers. You just open your mouth and things come out. You don't even think about them, do you? We can uh, make sense of these things. Not that difficult. We'll call the ground a thousand. We'll give the arbitrary value of the uh, human to be about 70. And we'll give all the other layers some numbers. Because that's how it works. We just randomly give them numbers, right? Uh, we'll finish up at the top with 1.5 for the uh, ping pong ball. And then we'll change the ping pong ball into a sun. And then all of a sudden it's beginning to look a lot like our world. Don't you think? Where in our world do you see the different layers of the atmosphere or anything? Because other debunkers have done this better than I could ever do. I'll speed up to the relevant parts and just skip the sciencey bit. So now let's give it some uh, water. We'll give the water the value of 67 because we know that humans can drown in water without the ability to swim. Kids, don't do drugs. This is what happens when you do drugs. You say things that you don't know nothing about and yeah, you make a fool out of yourself. Now, Sleeping Warrior, have you ever heard of floating? Have you ever seen a human floating? You haven't? Let me show you. So here it is, Sleeping Warrior, a man floating in the ocean without swimming. Wow, marvelous, isn't it? It's incredible how you make these claims and don't even think about them, let alone do some research on it. I didn't need to research a man floating because I know people can float. I can float in the ocean. I can float in the pool. So, now that takes care of that claim. Let's look at another. You said that the ocean, well, you numbered the ocean as 67, I assume the density, and the human as 70. 
So the human is more dense than the water. Is it really? Again, Sleeping Warrior, I'm going to prove you claim things without researching one iota of anything. So, you say that a human is more dense than water. Okay, the density of water is 997 kilograms per cubic meter. The average human density is 985 kilograms per cubic meter, which means the human is less dense than water. Maybe you're the exception, sleeping warrior. And now I think we'll have some clouds, some stratos and cumulonimbus. So we'll stick in some stratos clouds, they're the lower levels, we'll give them the value of 8.7. And the cumulonimbus clouds will give you the value of 4.2, because they're a little bit higher in the atmosphere. And now you're telling me that the clouds are more dense than the sun. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. This part is so silly, I'm not even going to entertain it anymore. I'm going to skip to the rest. Without this so-called downwards acceleration force, that's not a force, that everybody wants to be a force. My word, everyone wants to be a force? Do you even think before you talk? And after this? He starts with the biggest word salad and misunderstanding that I've seen so far. What isn't there, and even if it is there, nobody can prove it, but nonetheless, we, we're demanded that we accept that it is there. Did you get it? Neither did I. Let's put the clip in its entirety, but I'll put some subtitles so you can see exactly what he's saying and see if you can make any sense out of it. Without this so-called downwards acceleration force, that's not a force, that everybody wants to be a force, but isn't there, and even if it is there, nobody can prove it, but nonetheless, we, we're demanded that we accept that it is there. Did you get it this time? No? Let's put all of the subtitles in one screen and read through them and see if they make any sense. And here it is. Look at this. Does this make any sense? Actually, it does. There is one point in there that is particularly interesting. Basically, he's claiming there's no downwards acceleration force. But even if there is, no one can measure it. That's not very scientific of you, is it, Sleeping Warrior? And at the same time, he's saying, well, even if there is, because it can't be measured, I will deny it. Aren't you a cheeky, deceitful person, Sleeping Warrior? Well, we all knew that anyway. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, follow me on Twitter, and if you feel like supporting me further, consider becoming my Patreon. Thank you for watching.